Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month, you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month, along with instant access to every ASMR video I have ever posted over there. I also have an OnlyFans that you can check out, and if you're looking for a custom video, you can check out my Wizio page. And last but not least, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can do so by clicking the link tree link in my description box and you can use that same link tree link to check out all of the other things that I mentioned but now let's get into today's video hey I just wanted to come back here and check on you I just I noticed during lecture you looked like you were a little confused I couldn't tell if you were just lost in thought or confused by the material it's kind of a tricky lecture today. Personally, I thought so at least. Okay. So I was right. Well, what if I told you that I could probably help you out a little bit? I mean... At one point, I did take this course, so I'm pretty familiar with the material, and I think I even have some of my old exams and papers if you wanted to take a look at them. Shh. Don't tell anyone, and don't share. Um, they're at my apartment, so you would have to come by. You've been there before, right? Right. Okay. That's. I knew there was a connection because your roommate's sister's friend is one of my roommates. And you guys, I remember, yeah. I remember a few weeks ago when I came home and I saw you were over. I'll be honest, I was a little embarrassed. I had just come back from doing laundry and going to the gym and I just was not looking very put together and I was just not feeling great that day. That's why I was kind of weird too when I saw you and I didn't really talk. So I also came back here because I wanted to just kind of clear the air regarding that whole situation and make sure you weren't offended. <laughs> but yeah, why don't you come by later and I'll give you that stuff. Probably for your own protection and for mine as well. You probably shouldn't take it. Like, I'll let you look at it. But as far as like taking the actual material back to your dorm, um, I don't think we should allow that, or like taking pictures, because if anyone ever saw that, you would most definitely get in trouble, and me as well. It would be one thing if it was your friend sharing, like, the material from when they took the course, but I'm literally the teacher's assistant, so it would look bad. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, I can get you that, too. Let me see. Yeah, because... I know. Everyone always says that. Why aren't the PowerPoints just uploaded to Blackboard after class? <sighs> He's very weird with his course material. Very weird. Okay. Well, I will try to get you a copy sent over. That'll be a little tricky. I could maybe take a picture. What, do you remember like around what slide it was? Let me write that down. 
And what, okay, it was after that. I think I know what you're talking about. Got it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you're funny. So. I have a question for you. You want to know what that is? Mm, I don't know if I'm ready to share yet. Um, well, that information isn't posted yet. Uh, could I find it for you? Probably. Let me see. I'm really not supposed to be doing this, but because I do have a little soft spot for you, I will see. I know I'm, I keep forgetting the password to get in. Got it. <sighs> well, I've been like standing over his shoulder a million times. I'm really not supposed to let you know what grade you have in this class, but we promise this is just our secret and don't let it slip. So if you guys are talking about grades, do not say oh, I have so-and-so grade because then everyone is going to be like, how do you know that? And you're going to be in a very awkward position where you're going to have to lie. Telling the truth is not even an option. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. I was letting it load. Literally. So slow, the internet here. Okay. You have... Are you ready? You have a B plus. Very close to an A minus. So... I think that... Without a doubt, if I give you a look at my old coursework, there's no way you won't end the semester with an A. I am sure of it. I would be willing to bet money on it. Mm. True. Very true. So, what are you up to this weekend? Any fun plans or... Mm -hmm. A couple parties, hanging out with friends. That sounds fun. Basically the same for me. Well, seeing as you're an undergrad and I am a PhD student, I don't think we'll be running in the same crowd this weekend unless you plan on stopping by my apartment unrelated to getting your hands on those papers. Mm, it's true, I could invite you out, but I don't know if I want to do that. Because you're younger. You're 
21, right? Almost. Well, that's exciting. When do you officially turn 21? No. No. Happy early birthday. And... <laughs> Since I don't think I'll be giving you a gift since we're not really friends. We're just kind of acquaintances. That was a little blunt. Sorry. But I do have something I would want to give you aside from just those papers. Because let's face it, that is the best birthday present you could ever get. Well, I don't want to tell you. Come over to my apartment later today. I'll be home whenever. And I'll let you take a look at them. Ugh. Fine. I had a feeling you wouldn't want to wait. Close your eyes. Close them. Are they closed? Okay, don't peek. What? I just wanted to. Is that okay? Do I need a reason? You just, you just felt like, I don't know, maybe you wanted me to. Well, I know I wanted to. Because even though you're a little younger, I think you're cute. And you stand out from anyone else in this class, and you're pretty smart, and you care about your grades, you work hard. And I've heard things about you, just that you're a good person, so I don't want to taint your reputation by getting you in trouble with showing you my coursework from when I took this class, so if you decide you don't want it, don't let me hold you back, but I do want to help you out because this is a tough class, and I just want to help you. Is that good enough reason? No. We don't have to worry about that. He went back to his office. He never comes back after he leaves lecture hall. He stays in there, grading papers, having his office hours, and then he heads home. Plus, even if there was a chance he was going to come back in here, doesn't that make it a little more exciting? I think it does. Well, no one saw us. And even if they did, there's no rule. I'm not a professor. I'm not your official teacher. I'm just the assistant, the TA. Maybe one day I'll be your professor. Like if you get your PhD, and then I'd start teaching the PhD students and then that kiss might get a little more complicated but right now there's no problem with it none that I see at least and in fact I would be more than happy to give you another Okay, 
I should probably get going. I have some assigned reading I have to do before tomorrow. Mm. What can I say? Life of a grad student. Homework due on the weekends. Well, if you ever need help with your homework, you know, you can always call me. And when you come over later, you can definitely like hang out for a little bit. You don't have to just get what you need and run. Maybe you'd want to stick around. I could order a pizza or something. I don't know. What do you like on your pizzas? Sounds like a match made in heaven. Having the same taste in toppings is a very good sign. Oh, I'm I'm dead serious. You thought I was joking? No. When I think of my past failed relationships, the one thing they all had in common was we could never agree on what to get as toppings on our pizza. I completely agree. <laughs> okay. Come over whenever. I'll be home. And bring your appetite. Mm, I'll have to get it all together, but I know it's like in one of my desk drawers, so... Don't worry. Okay. Works for me. What time do you think? Like, what are you leaning towards? I just don't want to have to wait too long. Exactly. Just after that kiss. So good. I'm teasing you. It was good. But yeah, that works for me. Well, do you need help with anything else, or... Okay. Well, I'm glad I got your attention after class and was able to chat with you for a bit. I think it was really a good talk. I hope you feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Both the talking parts and the non-talking -talk parts. Couldn't agree more. See you in 